Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making curry katsu. I'm making Japanese curry today and it's a perfect match with chicken katsu. Let's prepare some veggies. I'm using a quarter of a broccoli and half of an onion. You can use other veggies like a carrot if you want. In a pot, heat one tablespoon of cooking oil at medium-high heat. Then, saute the onions first. Saute the onions, almost caramelized it. Add the broccoli and cook about 2 to 3 minutes. Add 5 cups of water and bring it to boil. When the water starts to boil, we are gonna add this Japanese golden curry. The spice level is hot. We are gonna add milk later so the hot doesn't get really spicy. There are two packages and use one pack. The one pack has four blocks. Stir it around and make sure all the curry blocks is dissolved into the water. Stir it around until you don't see any of those chunks. Then, add a quarter cup of milk. Milk is an optional, but it makes the curry creamier and have a deeper flavor, so I recommend to add some milk in it. Simmer it until it reaches the consistency of you like, about 5 to 10 minutes. While the curry is simmering, I'm going to deep fry this chicken katsu I made before. I have this chicken katsu recipe in my channel, so if you don't have it or you don't know how to make it, check my video out. It's easy to make and when you make it, just make a menu of it and keep it in the fridge and just deep fry it whenever you need it. And it's a perfect match for this Japanese curry. Okay, the chicken katsu is ready. Okay, my curry is ready and all I need to do is pour more curry on top of my chicken katsu. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, before you go, did you know this curry gets even better after an overnight? Make a big pot of it, enjoy free dinner, and try a day later. You will be surprised how good it is. Thank you for watching. I will see you in next video.